This is Teodoro Street. Way up there is Fields Avenue and then Amigos and Juanita's Hotel and Icon Condominiums. And we get to this Venus Spa before it gets down to Squatterville at the end of this block here. But this Venus Hotel and Spa is one of my best videos. It still produces. And Anita Murdoch was uh, nice enough to take me on a tour of this place when she worked here. Looks like it's doing really well today. It looks like there's a lot of guests. But this video is one of the best ones I put out. So congratulations to us on this one. Check this out, everybody. Have you ever seen such a quiet MacArthur Highway here? Hey, look at Johnny's here. Johnny's is closed. It's Holy Week. It's Holy Week here in the Philippines. So a lot of things are closed down. Ann and I wanted to come here to Converge the other day and talk, talk about our bill because the channels are starting to drop off. We had heard that the cable is going to drop all the channels, just go to like a streaming service or an internet service only. So we came here the other day to pay a bill to talk to them about it to take off the, uh, the, the cable box portion and they're closed down. That's just the first part of Holy Week and that was a few days ago. The further and further it gets into Holy Week, the more and more businesses close down. It's not a good week if you want to take care of some stuff. Let's cut across here. Russian roulette. Russian roulette. Let's go over by City Hall here. Balibago City Hall, which is down this street. Usually this is open for all the students and stuff back in this area. Closed. <laughs> Gamers. Gamers. Mobile legend, probably. There's Balibago. Barangay Hall. What is going on here? Balibago Angeles. Ah. Wow, they're getting all dried out. All these palm fronds. What do we got going on here? What do we got going on here? What are we doing? Hello, hello. Oh, this is where the music plays all the time. I see what's going on. Hello, hello. We haven't shown much over this way. Super Daddy. Milk teas, frappes, coffees, dental, dental, da, 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 da. jewelry and pawn shop. Honorable Joseph. Hanse. Karen, honorable, 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 honorable. Secretary, treasurer, barangay administrator. There's all the people if you need to know who they are. Barangay outpost. Oh, they got a little jail in there. Looks like little jail cells. Back street action. Some of these areas are a little sketchy. A little sketchy. Oh, I like the plants on the cover here. Keep the bugs out. These shops are still open. A bathing ape. Huh. That's pretty cool. How much are your jerseys? 400? Okay. I haven't seen your shop before. This is nice. How about a shirt like this? 180. 180? That's it? Huh. I like the dry fit material. Short, 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 short. Some nice shirts. Let's swing over here. Hats. Wow. How about your hats here? Two hundred, okay. This one, one seventy. Okay, okay. All right, you guys see it. How come you're not closed? It's Holy Week. Yeah, yeah. You're closing sooner, or no? No. Uh, we are not uh, Catholic. 
Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, Muslim, okay. So there's a couple of religions here. So if you're Catholic, you close down. Muslim, you stay open. Okay. I got it now. Thank you. Ah, that explains it. All right, I, I, I ended up buying a shirt, you guys. And I ended up buying this gentleman a shirt, too. Okay. Yeah, what's yeah. your name? Uh, big boy. Big boy? Yeah. Okay, good, 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 good. You're going to Mabalaga, you walk down. Yeah, well, happy birthday, birthday to yeah, you. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, sir. You can give him the change or keep it. Okay, bye bye. All right, see you now. Hey, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yes. Yeah, I like it. I like the shirt. I'm just going to wear it. <laughs> we came up from that, went around the block. We're back to MacArthur Highway. We're gonna walk back down this way. Motorcycle helmets. I like it. I like these colorful ones. Nice, nice. I don't know how much they are. Don't really need to know. Oh, I got a tag on my jersey yet for Pete's sakes. We'll just tuck that down in my back here. like South Star Drug is open yet. We're gonna make our way up here another block or so. Cut across, go down Walking Street. Just doing a little walk and talk. Talking about Mercury Drug and South Star Drug. When I moved here, I was on an anti-anxiety pill. Took every day, 50 milligrams. Actually, when I came, it was like 75 milligrams. And then I found a replacement and I started taking that every day, 50 milligrams here. And I've been, since I weaned myself off, I no longer have taken that, any anxiety pills, any pills at all any longer. I've been off for about four months now. I just uh, don't feel I need it any longer. I'm not in the States, I'm not all hyped up. I don't get anxious any longer. I'm a lot more relaxed. That's a good thing. That's one aspect here of the Philippines that I do appreciate or do like is that I'm not all jammed up, revved up. I don't feel like I need to push, push, push. I'm not caught up in the rat race anymore. I'm caught up in a different type of rat race. Woo! But this is a much more relaxing, rewarding life than it was back in the States. Well, I haven't done a, a midday tour of Walking Street in a long time. It's about, I suppose the street's already closed. It's closing now, I think. There's still some vloggers that'll walk up and down this. I will now and then say hi to some people I know. I'm not really, uh, walking street kind of gentleman anymore i've moved on from that just came down teodoro here this is teodoro street way up there's fields avenue and then amigos and Juanita's hotel and icon condominiums and we get to this vena spa before it gets down to squatterville at the end of this block here but this venus hotel and spa is one of my best videos it still produces it was way back in the day, over a year ago that I was in here. I came across this hotel and Anita Murdoch was uh, nice enough to take me on a tour of this place when she worked here. Looks like it's doing really well today. It looks like there's a lot of guests, but it's one of the hardest places to find online on Facebook, on a website. It's Korean owned. Maybe that's partially why. I think I'll go in and I'll see if I can find a business card just so I can add it to the vlog. It's one of the nicest spas in town that they have. I'll put a link in the description below from the video that's doing really well. Every month it goes crazy. Anita saying hi to ya. We're doing really well, Anita. But this video is one of the best ones I put out. So congratulations to us on this one. What is, um, what is the Facebook? The Facebook of our manager. Venus, Venus Travocation. Ah, okay. Yes. Ah, perfect. 
And then I see on here venushotel.com or so. Um, all right, I'll put this back because you only have one left here. I'll be here. Thank you very much. We're gonna do a Midfields Avenue walk. Starting right here at about the ABC Hotel, the Spice Road Express Thai Cuisine. We're going this way. Parking the bike over there. We're gonna see what we see, people. ABC Hotel here, one of the nicest hotels in town, if not the nicest hotel in town. We've toured it before when people were staying here. Very nice, it's high rates, but you get what you pay for, and this place is very, very nice. Rooftop is unbelievable. Multiple pools in and around different levels of this place. Very nice hotel. <laughs> ah, I was impressed. Back to, uh, back to my antidepressants that I got off of. I did that a lot. I did that because I had a, a panic attack one time when I was flying. I didn't, uh, I didn't like being in a closed plane. I, uh, I freaked out. So after that, I had, uh, I got on some anti-anxieties. There was other issues that led up to that back in the States. Like I said, I'm no longer on those pills. I am going to be flying here soon. I'm going home for the first couple of weeks of May. I'm excited to get home. Or at least I'm going home for the first time in almost two years. It'll be nice to see family and friends and everybody again. Uh, let's talk airfare real quick. Uh, a lot of people pointed out to check out different airfare, different airlines. One of them was Lux Air. I checked out Lux Air. And for $433 one way, I could fly from Clark, Clark to LAX. So a round trip ticket would be about 866, but then I'd still have to get an adjoining flight from LAX to Minneapolis. So I checked into that and that'd be about another $500. So what I did is I just went on booking.com and I booked it. I'm flying from Manila to Incheon, from Incheon to Seattle, from Seattle to Minneapolis. So it's a multi-stop. But my ticket was only 1300 which is actually less than I could have found or flown with Luxair and the additional ticket from LAX. Emotions Bar is another bar that we play pool league at. So I think I did pretty good with the booking.com at $1,300 ticket. I upgraded a seat. There's two legs. One leg is 10 hours, one leg is 11 and a half or 10 and a half and 11. The big leg there from Incheon to Seattle, from Seattle to Incheon. So I chose my seat. For $160, you can upgrade to whatever seat you want in specific areas. There's different price points. How I found that out is I went to Seat, Seat Guru. You put in your flight number, Seat Guru. At the same time you're booking your flight, you put in your flight number. And you can choose and you can see what seats are good seats, bad seats, don't fold down, not recommended, highly recommended, different price points. So I chose the seats I wanted to sit in for the long legs. So there was an upgrade of 320. So for 1620, I got a round trip and I chose the seats on the big legs. I'm happy with that. I'm not gonna sit and try to price point and keep looking back and forth and everything else. So, a lot of people had pointed out different airlines. I checked a couple of them and I'm fine with what I, what I came up with. I've passed by this floral place 6,000 times. I've never stopped to look. I've never stopped to see what pricing is at a place like this. Can I ask what something like this costs? Uh, that one is Cypress. Cypress, okay. And how much is this? 1,000. 1,000, okay. Something like this, one of these little guys. Uh, 50 pesos. 50 only. How about, how about this big one? Uh, 300. 300. I'm glad I stopped. Potting soil. Yeah, soil mixture. Looks like they have uh, planters. 
pots, whatever you want to call them, all kinds of different. They got some big ones over here too. <laughs> this one looks like it's become part of the ground. I always see a lot of cars here stopping through. People purchasing a lot of this stuff. It always looks so darn good. Here's another one. I think this is one separate. We got little garden decorations, frogs, stone. I never like putting stone too close to my, my plants and my perennials and my annuals because the stones would get so hot that it kind of dehydrates. Uh, mulch or a wood chip was better, I heard. It holds the moisture longer, doesn't dry the plant out as much. But here's another one with some very nice plants. All different sizes, brands. Again, I'll show you a Facebook page for this place. Roseland Garden, and that's the page? Roseland Garden. Are all these the same here? All the, they're all different? Yeah. Ah, how many different floral places are there here? I think two or three. Five. Five? Oh, yeah. I thought it was all one. No, no. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So there you go. There's, it's all different. I thought it was all one, but no, it's all different along here. But they all chose the same location. That's pretty smart. You could price point. You could probably barter back and forth. Work out the best deal between all two or three for similar plants. But all the co-workers that I worked with, Verno, I appreciate your messages lately. I'm gonna come check you out. I wanna come to a job site. I wanna see you and Matt, see everybody. See, uh, see what's going on with everybody back there working. See if it's the same, uh, same like it used to be. You did tell me that it's no longer called a master bedroom. It's the primary bedroom now. That's that politically correct craziness. Master bedroom, primary bedroom. Oh my. Gotta, gotta label these things right so people don't bitch and cry about it. All right, guys, that's it. I'm gonna sign off. That's just a quick walk and talk. Show you a few things. Show you a few things around here. Here comes the Impala. Popping wheelies. And there's the man. There's the man. <laughs> well, give me a thumbs up if you like this. Send a comment. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you in the next one.